right at the back, eh? No. Wonderful. Now I'd like to tell you a little story that was told to me by a mate of mine, Gary O. He's got a website, you know. www.garyog.co.uk That's the plug on. Okay. It's called The Great Amblethwaite Cat Mystery. He was a right flaming fidget for Alex McGarr. And one night, his best mate, Jimmy Gallagher, said, For heaven's sake, man, what are you doing with your cat? You've been fiddling the best part of an hour. Max said, so it ain't right. You see, it got wet last night. So we got home on the bend of the drive. Well, I must have been drunk, because the bloody cat shrunk. But the lining sort of stayed the right size. Hey, it's time you had a fresh one. You've had that one since depression. I swear that it once had a pattern. It don't hold you now. Why don't you splash out? Get a new one and chuck away with that. Max said, You can't talk. Yours is old as yours. I'll only get one if you do an all. Well, Jim thought for a moment, then said, Okay then, right off. There's a cat shop next door to town hall. So the very next day, they checked out the display in the window before they went in. There was belts, there was tweeds, in fact, out they might need. And yet Matt chose the same one as Jim. Oh, that's not a problem, said the man serving on. They come in all sizes and shades. Even blue ones and reds. Now give us your red. And he measured them both with a tape. Right, seven and three quarters, that's the one that fits thee, and you, sir, a five and seven eighths. Well, Matt turned and he said, My, you've got a big head. Jim said, What's two flaming inch between me? Then he showed him the cap. Best Donegal tweets. And they tried them, and they fit it dead good. So we wrapped them in two brown paper parcels. And they paid him and left, as you would. Max said, I'm excited. Jim said, I'm delighted. So they went into the swamp for the dram. It was three hours later, they fell out of the pole with their parcels and went for the tram. Well, they carried their packages up to the top deck and they sat in two seats at the back. I can't wait till the chaps see our spanking new cats. And I, I do an hour too, said Matt. But later that night, in the plasterer's arms, there were neither man really. Max said, mine's the wrong size, it fell down over my eyes. <laughs> and Jim said, that's a coincidence, that. Because mine's far too small. It was no use at all, sat on top of me head like a bat. I'm going back to play hell. I then, I am as well. He'll get rough with Jimmy Tunnel, that chap. So they met the next day, out front of the shop. You know, I'm not much of a complainer, said Jim. Nay, I'm not at all. And that bloke's really tall. So they went into the swamp for two jeans. Well, they had a couple of quick ones, then a couple more. <laughs> Wash down with a couple of stouts, then a couple of beers, just to keep their heads clear. Then they picked up their parcels and went out. Back at Cat Shop, Mac 
pushed Jimmy first. Have a complaint. You said what? He said, oh. <laughs> a complaint. He said, oh. He said, I. He said, so. <laughs> it's these cats. Were you having a joke? A joke? He said, oh, I don't do that to both. Well, how do you explain this thing? Jimmy said. And he took out his cap from his brown paper wrap and he blocked it on top of his head. Then he said, Evans are poor. The bugger fits like a glove. <laughs> well, that's funny, because it didn't last night. Then Matt tried his own and it fit. Whereupon, they both went as red as back lines. They apologised and left with the tail between the legs. There's something strange happened here, don't you think? Max said, scratching his head. I'm right puzzled, Jim said. So they went into the swamp for a drink. <laughs> now, as true as I'm sitting here telling this tale, You'll not guess what happened that night. After Jim had his nap, he put on his cap and blow me but the bugger was tight. <laughs> Matt, at his place, had just washed his face and went to put on his cap to go out. But instead of being snug, it fell down round his lungs. What the bloody hell's going on here, he shouted. So they're still wearing their old caps, a poor Jim and Mac. The strange phenomenon were never resolved. <laughs> They've a theory or two. I expect you've got one too. <laughs> they think a sinister force were involved. <laughs> and from that day on, They've not drunk at the swamp. <laughs> they don't trust the landlord, it said. They think it's quite clear he put stuff in his beer that altered the size of Fortet. 